in previous videos, we have talked about selecting wire duct, whether it be for color, whether you like the narrow finger versus the thick finger, different mounting options. But this time, let's talk about sizing and how we end up in trouble when we are sizing our wire duct. Now, I'm not sure if there is actually a code that tells you about wire duct sizing. Some people say there is, some people say there isn't. I'm gonna give you the common sense approach, which is the same approach that every wire duct manufacturer's sizing guide tells you is your wire duct should only be 50% full or half full. Now let's talk about how we get in trouble with that simple rule is my busiest wire duct on this panel will require 30 wires. And I'm gonna stick my 30 wires into my wire duct and that looks really good. But what we didn't think about is the installer's wires. And yes, the installer's wires are part of our responsibility as a panel builder. And in the case of this panel, that same wire duct needs all of these cables in it. And once I put all these in, then at that point, our wire duct is way too small. And the next day we go out and we look at our panel and we complain about the installer because either they didn't use our wire duct, they didn't put the covers back on, or it looks so horrible that we don't even want to take a picture of it to put on our website. And we blame them for it, but it wasn't their fault. We did not give them the space they needed to neatly do their job. Every wire duct manufacturer does have a wire duct sizing chart to help you out. But let me give you a couple of tips. First of all, the one thing I see a lot of us do is not utilize the opportunity for height. Because for the most part, there's never anything above the duct. And I look at a lot of you, and you've installed like one inch tall duct. I didn't know it existed until I saw it on panel. But if you have one inch tall duct, it can only have a half inch deep of wires in it. So go ahead and use that height. In fact, probably in the last, I don't know, maybe decade, I've probably never used wire duct that is less than three inches tall. Also, along with that, a lot of times we have components that their terminals are up high. Well, instead of us having to dip down into the wire duct, it lets us neatly go straight across. So when you're figuring out your wire duct size, count up your wires, not only the ones inside of your panel, but also the ones in the field. And then do your calculation and try to stay below 50%. All right, now that we have our wire duct sized right, let's go ahead and do some wiring. Click here to follow me over there.